Welcome to next lesson in electrostatics. It in the last class, we will discuss the electric potential and the concept. Electric potential and the it was defined as the work done to bring a unit to positive charge from infinity to a point. Above electrostatic field delay, or a point in or a electric potential value now. Potential value equal to our malignant different now. Now we are going to discuss a concept called equipotential surfaces. Equipotential surfaces in the lay like it means equal potential surfaces. That is, if all the points on a surface have the same potential, then that surface is called an equipotential surface. But the surface is a yellow point. The collection of all points with the same potential is called it, it forms a surface. That surface is called equipotential surface. By equipotential surface, all all point in the electric potential same. I think. But if we equipotential surface, the pile is shape will More or surface, more or equipotential surface, more or electric potential. All equipotential surface in the electric potential equal. I am not going to do that. But with that, I will tell you that there are different. The surfaces are shown. A closed line and the actually they are surfaces. 2D lamaki line I take any come at all. Up to you, but I surface and the level. This surface arrow V is equal to C3 and the that is it is a constant the potential different potential of this surface is having a constant value C3. The where the surface are coming the potential has another constant value C2. If we consider another equipotential surface, it has a constant value C1. So this is the surface of this full light, electric potential C1. So, we can say that the collection of all points with the same potential forms a surface called equipotential surface. With the importance of this, with a uniform electric field, we have an electric field that is defined as the minus dv by dr. Electric field in it is negative of the potential gradient. Potential Decrease in the direction of the electric field. If we have a uniform electric field, as we move in the direction of the electric field, the potential will be decreasing. If we move perpendicular to the electric field, there is no electric field in the perpendicular direction. This direction of the electric field is not there. Meaning, there will be no potential difference in this direction. In this direction, the potential difference is not there. Potential difference is not there. Meaning, the potential is not there. Constant on a difference in the one being a constant on so these dotted lines represents the different equipotential surfaces with the constant potential constant potential in the room before now the dotted line low or equipotential surface on so it has a constant value second dotted line it is another equipotential surface it has another constant value here and the surface in the potential same Allah but potential across this dotted line is same that is it is a constant by what again i'm in a uniform electric field the key potential surfaces are plane surfaces what a plane surface and because the field is uniform and are also equidistant if the key potential surface the middle like element and a constant distance and equipment potential surface similar work in the because the electric field is uniform and if, if we draw the key potential surface at a one volt difference. If one or equipment surface in the middle difference one volt and the reason it can be other than that is equidistant titular parallel plane surfaces are the for the constant electric field. So equipment surfaces are perpendicular to the electric field. If a point charge an angle electric field is diverging from that positive charge. Why would I make it put a surface in the middle there are spherical surfaces because 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r in the middle of the electric potential. But R constant down the case on a potential constant of a so we will get different spherical surfaces But you would have gone on the the distance between the that is the separation between the key potential surfaces Increases as the electric field strength decrease because you would have point a charge in the lake of the room electric field in the strength decrease with under you go One number the surface and another the surface in the middle of potential difference is a one volt on the record again Random moon the middle potential difference from one and then a moon and all a one So if we draw the equi potential surfaces at a difference of one volt between them Then we can see that the separation between the surfaces will go on increasing 
as the strength of the field decreases adhi charge illa nagalekku pondorum equipped surface thammil nagalam koodi konde irukum now this is a electric dipole or positive negative charge varanengil avadhe equipped surface ee reethile vara so you can see that in between these charges the equipotential surfaces are very close the equipotential surface valare close and because the electric field is very strong here but outside that region ee equipotential surface thammil nagalam koodudalana because field strength is low so equipotential surface ennallade the separation between the equipotential surfaces is a measure of the intensity of electric field equipotential surfaces valare close anengil avade intensity of electric field valare koodudala irukum now properties of equipotentials first property electric field lines are point from high to low potential higher potential nu lower potential like an electric field le electric field line direct endunda because e is equal to minus dv by dr there is a negative sign electric field is in the direction of negative of the potential gradient another one is electric field lines is perpendicular to the equipotentials that, that is electric field has no component along the equipotential surface equipotential surface in parallel light alleng tangential light endilla there is no electric field another one is no work is done to move a particle a charged particle along the equipotential surface equipotential surface ile oru point il ninnu vera point adhe equipotential surface ile vera point like oru charged particle move aikkanengil no work is required because work done to bring a charge from one point to another point it depends on the potential difference if there is no potential difference there will be no work is required that is no electrostatic work is required to move the, a charged particle along an equipotential surface now we are going to discuss the properties of conductors conductor nu parayumbo it contains a large number of free electrons which can move a large number of free charges which can move freely within the material appo avade conductor nu example nu the metals are examples of conductors appo adinte case le free electrons anu varunade so if we place any excess charge to the conductor the charges will repel each other and any charge will be residing on the outer surface of the conductor that is inner surface le conductor the inner surface le the net charge on the inner surface will be zero for a charged conductor all the charges will reside only on the surface of the conductor now in a static situation that is in electrostatics ningal or conductor like electric field apply cheyanengil inside the conductor after the equilibrium is reached the electric field inside the conductor will be zero remember this is valid for electrostatic case electrostatic nu parayumbo avade charges onnu move aynilla actually appo ningal or static aayittulla case le if you apply a in electrostatic field inside a conductor the charges within the conductor will separate adhaayathu avade adilulla electron alla electric field inde opposite ate oru force feel ede adu oru side like po appo randa opposite side il oru positive charge varu appo ee negative positive separation kaaranam a conductor inde ullil endeyum another another electric field will be induced and that induced electric field will oppose the applied electric field and the net effect will be this induction of electric field will continue until the net field inside the conductor is zero ആ ഉള്ളിലുള്ള കണ്ടക്ടറിൻ്റെ ഉള്ളിലുള്ള ഫീൽഡ് സീറോ ആവും സോ ഇൻ ഇലക്ട്രോസ്റ്റാറ്റിക്സ് എ കണ്ടക്ടർ ഈസ് വൺ ഇൻ വിച്ച് ദ ഇലക്ട്രോസ്റ്റാറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡ് ഇസ് സീറോ ഇലക്ട്രോസ്റ്റാറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡ് സീറോ ആവുന്ന കേസിൽ നമ്മൾ കണ്ടക്ടർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നുണ്ടാവാം അങ്ങനെ വേണമെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് കണ്ടക്ടറിനെ ഡിഫൈൻ ചെയ്യുക വേണമെങ്കിൽ ചെയ്യാം സോ കണ്ടക്ടേഴ്സ് ആർ ഫുൾ ഓഫ് ഫ്രീ ഇലക്ട്രോൺസ് അപ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ ഞങ്ങൾ കാണാവുന്നതാണ് ഇൻ എൻ ഇലക്ട്രോസ്റ്റാറ്റിക് പ്രോബ്ലം ദ ഇലക്ട്രോൺസ് അഡ്ജസ്റ്റ് ദിയർ പൊസിഷൻ അണ്ടിൽ ദ ഫോഴ്സ് ഓൺ എവറി ഇലക്ട്രോൺ ഇസ് സീറോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇലക്ട്രോൺസ് വിൽ മൂവ് from one position to another position so that the internal electric field the electric field inside the conductor is zero so electric field inside a conductor is always zero as the electric field inside a conductor is zero if we take a gaussian surface inside the conductor conductor nullile jana a gaussian surface irukana and then gauss's law for the spherical surface says that there will be the e gaussian surface irkanengil a gaussian surface le closed surface integral e dot da will be equal to zero because e is e is zero nan edukkunna surface full aayittu conductor nullil ullathu appo closed surface integral e dot da is zero nu parna meaning q enclosed will be equal to zero that is the net charge enclosed by that gaussian surface is zero 
it means that no charge can reside inside the conductor any net charge that is any excess charge can reside only on the outer surface of the conductor conductor the outer surface il mathram nilkan pattullum charge nilkan pattullum ullil endilla there is no net charge charge illa nu parnal manasilakkendathu ullil positive charge undengil kooda thanne negative charge um undayirikkum so that the total charge enclosed by any volume will be zero there will be no net charge Now another one is electric field just outside the conductor for that we consider a gaussian surface a gaussian pill box a cylindrical surface irukkunnathu which is symmetric one part is outside the conductor one part is inside the conductor so we consider the conductor is equal potential because conductor ullu electric field zero ana so there will be no potential difference is conductor equal potential aagikondu then just outside the conductor electric field will be perpendicular to the surface so e will be perpendicular to this plane surface so cross the surface integral e dot da will be equal to e into a from this surface and from this surface it will be zero because it is inside the conductor and from the curved surface it is equal to zero because e is perpendicular to the surface so e dot da nalla ivada zero a irukum so ea will be equal to q enclosed by epsilon zero that is equal to q enclosed nalladine ഈ കണ്ടക്ടറിൻ്റെ സർഫസ് ചാർജ് ഡെൻസിറ്റി സിഗ്മ ആണെങ്കിൽ ഇറ്റ് കാൻ ബി റിട്ടേൺ ആ സിഗ്മ ഇൻ ടു ഏരിയ എൻക്ലോസ്ഡ് ബൈ ദി ഗോഷ്യൻ സിലിണ്ടർ ആ ഗോഷ്യൻ സിലിണ്ടർ എൻക്ലോസ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഏരിയ സിഗ്മ ഇ ബൈ എപ്സിലോൺ സീറോ സോ ഇ ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സിഗ്മ ബൈ എപ്സിലോൺ സീറോ സോ ജസ്റ്റ് ഔട്ട്സൈഡ് ദ കണ്ടക്ടർ ദ ഇലക്ട്രിക് ഫീൽഡ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സിഗ്മ ബൈ എപ്സിലോൺ സീറോ വെർ സിഗ്മ ഈസ് ദ സർഫസ് ചാർജ് ഡെൻസിറ്റി അറ്റ് ദി സർഫസ് ഓഫ് ദി കണ്ടക്ടർ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് വിൽ ബി പെർപെൻഡിക്കുലാർ ടു ദി കണ്ടക്ടർ perpendicularly away if the conductor is positively charged and perpendicularly towards the conductor if it is negatively charged so it is it has that is the now the properties of conductors first property is any excess charge will reside on the outer surface of the conductor then electric field inside the conductor is zero then electric a conductor shields a cavity within it from external electric field that will be discussed later electric field lines contact conductor surface at right angles that is electric field will be at normal to the or perpendicular to the surface of the conductor a conductor can be charged by conductor by induction that you have studied in plus 2 the conductor can be charged by induction or by contact by transferring charge to it connecting a conductor to ground is referred to as grounding and this makes the potential of the conductor zero with respect to the ground now the property what is electrostatic shield if we consider a cavity cavity means an open space inside a conductor if that cavity is completely surrounded by conductor as the conductor the cavity has no charge now the electric field inside the cavity will be equal to zero if we apply an external field any strong field outside the conductor there will be there may be field outside the conductor but inside the conductor that is inside the cavity of the conductor the electric field will be always equal to zero this cavity is actually this conductor is protecting the cavity from external electric field external electric field cannot penetrate to the cavity so whatever charges at the surface and whatever the electric disturbances outside the electric field inside the cavity is zero this property is called electrostatic shielding that is the electric field inside a cavity formed by a conductor is equal to zero and this can be used for keeping sensitive electrical instruments away from external electric field an example is faraday cage faraday cage is an is an instrument which is used to what is called to store to keep the sensitive instruments away from the electrostatic field and also another example is the during lightning charges flow through the body of the conductor to the ground with no effect on the person inside the that bus that is the lightning arrester or a building can be protected from lightning by using a metal conductor a pointed end at the top of the building and that pointed end is connected to the ground by using a metal conductor so this metal conductor will 
it will protect the building from lightning another one is the metal body of a bus provides electrostatic shielding so during lightning being inside a car or bus or inside a metallic object will protect you from lightning because that will act as a faraday cage so this is also an example of electrostatic shielding so thank you for watching this